Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see the uh, the youngsters here as well. Yeah. I know it's before their lifetime, you know, but they, uh, you know, it's good for the youngsters to remember what went on eight years ago. You know, you know, it wasn't just the troops that lost their lives, it was also the uh, French um, civilians as well, it's what people didn't realise. Yeah, good, yeah. Well, things, no one can help getting in his, his old way today. Yeah, it's all for good calls. Good, yeah, look forward to the walk. Yes. So am I.
1934, Operation Overboard saw around 4,000 ships and landing craft set down about 132,500 troops on five Normandy beaches in an action that would bring about the liberation of Northwest Europe from Nazi occupation. Tonight we are gathering to remember and we've got lots and lots to get through over the next few hours so it's lovely to see the comedy carpet so busy tonight. On the proceedings tonight, we are going to have a seaside reflection, which is going to be a mile walk uh, here at the Tower Festival headland. Later on tonight at 8.30, we're going to enjoy some live music from the Salvation Army right here. And then at nine o'clock, um, we will be partaking in the lighting of the Beacon of Peace. It will be a special guest who will have the honour of igniting the tower in red, white and blue, while the Beacon of Peace, a powerful beam of light, will shine over the Irish sea, symbolising the emergence of peace from the darkness of war. So we will officially begin tonight's proceedings uh, with an invitation to invite those of you who wish now to gather on the sand below and take part in our sand art event, a touching tribute to the heroes of World War II. Sand art stencils are going to be used to portray life-size soldiers on the beach, so please feel free to head down onto our beach and take part. In the moon. 